Hello everybody, this is Matt and I want to give you a brief overview of creating your Google custom search engine. This is a great way to have students filter through information that you've pre-selected. First of all, you need to go to google.com forward slash CSE to get there. Once you do that, you'll need to sign in to Google Chrome and you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account. Once you sign in, you'll be prompted to this dashboard here. Uh, where you'll see any search engines that you've created in the past. Here's mine. But today we're going to go through and create our own. So step number one is click on add. When you click on add, you'll be prompted to add in any websites that you want to use to search. Now there's other tools that you can use as well that I'm not going to cover today, but you could use keyword tools right here. And there's even a section right down here for in advanced options where you can restrict pages uh, from a certain list <clears throat> so different types are on your search engine so what we're gonna do is go in and we're gonna paste in some information so for example I may do usatoday.com um, that'll be one website maybe another is uh, wgal.com and another would be um, forbes.com okay so we'll go ahead and just put all that information in. You can put as many websites as you'd like. These are all the websites that you're going to use to search through. The next thing is, is you're going to have to go ahead and give this search engine a name. Um, I'm going to just label it as Matt's search engine. And when I do that, then I'll go through and click create. When I click create, I'll see my um, that I've successful, successfully created my search engine. I can view it on the web by just clicking right here on a public URL and it'll put me directly into my search engine. So this is my search engine right here. I can copy and paste this URL and get it to my students. Now, another way that you could do it too is if, if for instance, you go into the Google Custom Search Engine a website and you go to your dashboard again, you can access your URL by simply clicking right here on this public URL and once again it'll take you to your search engine. So here's what's really great is I can type in a, a term like Hershey and I'll go ahead and search for it and this is my search engine right here and it only searches through my my websites that I've created. Notice right here at Forbes, USA Today, USA Today, USA Today. There's no Wikipedia or anything like that and I can directly go to these websites and search for information that I was looking for. So this is it right here. And I can keep going back and forth to my search engine. Hey, creating your own Google search engine is easy, but if you want some more technical ideas to use in your classroom to help all students learn, check out my blog at bergman-udl.blogspot.com. It'll give you all sorts of different, inf different pieces of information and different tools that you can use in order to access um, all learners in your classroom. Have a great day.